I hope that Clay forgives us for putting this off for so long. <laughs> yeah. I, I think he's got more things to worry about. <laughs> well, uh, in order for, for us to do the next mission properly, we're going to need a, a refill for our arrows. So we're going to go over to the Indian yeah. Hunter to get a free refill. Uh, refills will always carry over, even when you use the fast travel. And we're gonna go save Clay. Yep. Here's another incredibly lengthy cutscene. Jones and Decker have managed to sneak that howitzer down to the gulch just north of Empire, and are waiting for us to join them for the attack. Let's move, kid. We're burning daylight. And our budget. <laughs> and our patience. <laughs> <laughs> Supports voice actor is Bryce Johnson. Um, he's done some video game roles before, uh, but his only major video game roles, aside from Port, are Aquaman in Justice League Heroes and as Tom Riley, the protagonist of the PS Vita game Resistance Falling Skies. Um, he's, oh, he's done some quality work. Yeah, he's mostly done TV shows. Uh, he had a recurring supporting role in the early 2000s WB high school show Popular, but he's probably best known as Darren Wilden sure on Pretty Little Liars, uh, along with Nolan North, who was also on that show. Interesting. They were mentioning uh, the whole thing about, uh, you know, opium dens hidden in Chinese laundries, which, yes, that is racist, but it does have some historical precedent. Although, from what I can tell, that only really happened in California, and not in, like, the Midwest. Not in everywhere all condensed into one map. Yeah. It's about time you fellas got here. Jones is about to shit himself. Hoodoo's been pulling men into town all morning. He's gotta have 30 men in town. 30 men, huh? Okay, let's keep track of that. Alright, so yes, this is an escort mission, but this is actually a pretty fun one because there's very few restrictions on how far you can move ahead. So basically, just like as long as you have an eye on the minimap and make sure that uh, he's not moving far ahead. Um, also, yeah, more dodgy AI with stealth kills. Because I hadn't moved into the aggro spot there, the enemies <laughs> just sort of cringed in the spot. That is really the perfect mechanic. Yeah, it's great. Billy, have you always had that arrow in you? <laughs> Come on! I just got the implants recently. <laughs> yeah, we can wait here to ambush enemies that just that are triggered to spawn here. Inside the bar. And we have now upgraded our bow enough that a fully charged body shot can kill in one hit. Nice. They're up high! They're on the roof! So that's Port behind the cannon there. He actually has armor in front of him now. And yeah, th those whiskey bombs will, if you're really unlucky, blow up the TNT. So basically the only way for enemies to really uh, damage Port here is if they manage to flank behind them. And most enemies spawn in front, so you actually have some pretty decent movement flexibility during this mission. Which makes it one of the few, you know, protection missions that's you know, genuinely fun. One little bit of good game design. We'll go with that. Yeah, Port, Port moves the cannon at a pretty consistent rate, uh, except when he stopped for those uh, TNT barrels over there. there. There is a trigger coming up that will, that won't uh, trigger uh, until all the enemies are dead, but he still keeps moving forward. He won't. He will only stop for that one part. Yeah. Once you get the the two barrel shotgun, it becomes really useful, uh, especially with uh, with on foot combat here. And it's really fun to use on horseback, which we'll be seeing either this video or next one. Hoodoo's running out of guys. He better get more guys. Yeah, well, he, he brings them in from Kansas City. That other Pony Express guy ships them. <laughs> yeah, there, there's the Chinese Laundry. Uh, we'll be visiting that later. Once we've once we've cleared out all of Hoodoo's lawmen, you'll you'll have to you'll, you'll have to get clones of them later. I, I'm not counting the horses in my kills. He, they specifically said thirty men. Oh yeah, I've, I've showed it off before, but you can shoot enemies' weapons out of their hands. 
Um, there are specific enemy, there are specific weapon types that can also kill enemies simultaneously when you shoot out their weapons. Um, stuff like the bow, the shotgun, anything with splash damage. Also, it takes a while, but you can uh, have friendly fire. Vaporize your own men. Well, we've reached 30, but there's still some guys left. Additional supply depots required. I think your intel was off. <laughs> Also, Port is invincible, uh, for, at least from the cannon. He still takes fire from enemies. So, th this horse coming off of the left here is glitched. Uh, it takes an absurd amount of cannon fire to kill. And if you avoid killing it and try to mount it after this little set, set piece is over, you actually can't mount the horse at all. Like you're playing the PSP version or something. We got him pinned down. Weird. Go the and rest yeah, it is kind of strange. I, I don't know what's wrong with that particular horse. Anyway, we've killed enough guys. They, they can uh, take care of themselves, I think. So now that we've hit that trigger, that door that was closed over by the laundry opens up. And these three guys spawn. Lovely piece of scalp over there from the headshots. Ooh! Yeah, the uh, headshots with the pistol have a, have a special animation for them. Or sorry, not the pistol, the revolver. And more amazing texture work over there. Apparently, linens cost 30 cents. That's that's all I can read. Look at this. Why does this Chinese laundry have whiskey bombs just lying around over there? Because that's that's the ammo type for whiskey bombs over there. Those are Tide Pods. Bite into one. It's the ultimate Tide Pod challenge, where when you, but when you bite one, your head explodes. <laughs> Wait, go shooting. I'm a woman. Wait a minute. You're not a woman. You're Toby the Torch. Get back here. You're not going anywhere. I'm going to use you as my human shield. <laughs> so yeah, there, there's no repercussions for using uh, civilians as human shields during these missions. Oh, that's beautiful. Especially because, as I mentioned before, the town patience meter is disabled during story missions. And don't worry, Toby, I'm going to go after your identical twin brother in a minute. I'm really impressed that uh, Cole is somehow also able to simultaneously hold a weapon and drink whiskey while still keeping his shield secure. Also, you, you may notice that some of these opium dealers are the same guys that the lawmen were shooting back when uh, we first arrived at Empire. That's that's not a coincidence, though. Those were supposed to be like opium dealers. It's it's almost like the art department was bu busy voicing bit characters. All right, so here we go. This is what scalping looks like. Although, unfortunately, the animation was a little off. That wasn't a great angle. Um, the thing is, we can only scalp dying enemies, though, not dead ones. So, looks like our hostage is going to have to demonstrate what the proper animation looks like. Sorry, buddy. Hey, that hurts! Take one for the team. <laughs> the character model didn't even change there. <laughs> that That is just Slappy. adding... That's just adding to, to a theory that I have, that the scalping was, it was a feature that was cut early in development, but Activision forced Neversoft to include it later on um, in order to add something controversial to the game to make it sell better. Anyway, so we need to blow up with the secret entrance here, but there's no whiskey left after I blew myself up, so I have to backtrack all the way. But on my way there... I found this really low texture. I think it's supposed to be a Buddha. It looks like it. Also, it, there's, there's a seam in between the Buddha's head and the rest of his body. A Buddha that looks like it was cut out of construction paper, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that's what that is. <laughs> anyway, I backtracked all the way to the start of the level Oof. to grab some whiskey for this next part. This uh, intense walk through the laundry... Uh, the, the secret entrance of the laundry, which, of course, is very difficult. I'm making air quotes every time we say laundry. You can't see it, but I'm doing it. I, I trust you. <laughs> All right, so this, this next cutscene is uh, pretty intense, i got to warn you. Oh, 
Sounds like some of your boys are attempting a rescue. The fools. <laughs> Come morning, I'll be hanging them all. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Didn't even bust the bunker. Gaz is very disappointed in you. That took way too much effort in After Effects. How many men are attacking the town? One man tops. I can't math and neither can you. What's happening soon? Soon, I'll be dead. But your mother will still be a whore. <laughs> <laughs> I love that line. God bless you, Clay. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say something like that. So, true to the rules of the enemy AI in here, um, there's another guy in that room, but he will not notice that anything is wrong until we walk in there. Uh, this time we'll blame the opium. <laughs> yeah, he didn't notice his dead friend, but he did notice that we walked in. Also, there, there's way too much blood in this operating theater. You, you gotta get it cleaned up. This is not up to uh, health safety no. standards. Sanitation is not their priority. Clearly. What the hell is going on out there? Kill streak. We've come for you. And for Hoodoo. He's upstairs, Cole. I can't hold my gun. Don't be ashamed, Clay. There's other ways of making love. Never mind. Just follow that tunnel and I'll see you back at the hideout. Keep your wits, Cole. And cut him slow. All right, the fight against Hoodoo Brown. Is, this is a pretty tough fight, um, mostly because of the henchmen. So you can kind of sneak your way in here at first, um, and then you could shoot down the chandeliers here to ambush uh, Hoodoo and the rest of his gang. Uh, but they could also shoot down the, the chandeliers as well. Um, Hoodoo's got a uh, Hoodoo has a really powerful gun, and he also has, I think, it's a kukri or some other sort of melee weapon that's just as powerful as Quick Killers. And he also swings it much faster. Also, when he's on fire like that, he doesn't flinch. He still takes damage. But um, he doesn't have a running away, ow, I'm on fire animation. He just tanks it. Alright, so he's reached half health, which means he's going to retreat upstairs for the second phase. But you still have to fight through the rest of his henchmen to get upstairs. And depending on the difficulty that you're on, this can be actually be the toughest part of the fight. Because if you if you just try to, to rush at Hoodoo and ignore the rest the rest of them, you could you could find yourself like at a really bad choke point, and then you have to deal with the rest of uh, the rest of his goons. And there's still guys upstairs. Like even though Hoodoo's not a problem, you're you're still getting outflanked just by you know being in the rest of the casino here. That's kind of an awesome set piece. Yeah, it is. I actually really like this level. Oh, and look at that. Hoodoo's Bar also has a naked portrait of one of their prostitutes. Apparently, that's just the thing they do over here. They're just commissioning those daily. I was just looking to see if any of these rooms had some extra whiskey or anything here. The, the second phase isn't actually that difficult, but... Uh, come out, come out, wherever you are. I'm hunting mayors. Uh... <laughs> oh. Please, kid. Just let me go. I'll give you whatever you want. I want some answers. Let's start with a steamer. Why was it ambushed? Tell me. Or I'll turn your brains into wallpaper. There was something on board. Something Magruder's whore had made off with. Sadie. What was it she took? I don't know. <laughs> Only the preacher knew. Magruder sent him to get it back at all costs. But the bitch stowed it in the pilot's safe. It sank when the boilers blew. It's under 10 feet of water. You can't get to it. When the snow is melting. This time of year, the water level's dropped a dozen feet or more. Thanks, Hoodoo. You son of a bitch! Don't see many citizens rushing to your aid, Mr. Ah. Mayor. Why might that be? I, how funny it'll be to see the coroner laid out on his own slab. All right, you ready for the best cutscene in the game? Oh, yeah. I'm Hoodoo Bro! You were.
Callbacks! <laughs> Love it. All right, you know what can make this even better? Oh, I'm on the edge of my seat. Dual wielding! <gasps> I'm just so happy. I'm sorry I had to lie to you about the dual wielding. <laughs> it's forgiven. Sure makes a stink, don't he? Wish you'd stay, kid. Could use you and Magruder to retaliate. Gotta get what's in that safe. Maybe that can help bring him down. Off to Dodge, first off. Dodge? What for? To pull a certain safe cracker out of retirement. Yeah! Whatever's in that safe means more to Magruder than life itself. If I can get to it first, maybe I can finish what Ned started. Hey, Hoodoo's dead. Let's go shopping! <laughs> and, you know, vehicular homicide while we're at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're actually pretty close to getting all the upgrades in the game. I've just decided to make it, make it a little easier to watch by speeding them up here. Alright, so actually contrary to what that mission complete screen said earlier, the next set of poker missions actually don't unlock until after the next batch of missions um, in uh, video 9. Aww. So the next mission, the next story mission has some limits with its fast travel. I want to do some side missions at Dodge, so first I try to warp to the story mission later, but we're not doing that mission until next video, and it is spoilers! Don't let your kids watch it! Thanks, Robbie. <laughs> uh, and it didn't work anyway. It just teleported me back here. Uh -huh. So, next I tried to kill myself with dynamite. Uh -huh. I ended up falling out of bounds, and it took a really long time for the game to realize that I was dead, because I wasn't touching the ground. <laughs> oh my god. Still? <laughs> I'm still falling. One month later. I'm still falling! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so while I'm stuck in Empire, uh, might as well show this off. Uh, Hoodoo's body will remain in a pinewood casket for a pretty good chunk of the story. Just just sitting here. And he's, apparently someone put his top hat back. So I might as well give him a, uh, a, a farewell cigarette to take with him to the underworld. There, that looks nice. <laughs> See, we got a little flourish on the end. All right, two more missions left of this video. Uh, first, we're going to go to the Federal Marshal. There's also a hunting mission uh, later on as well. The O'Malley wagon train came through recently. And I hear rumor there might be trouble. Get a horse and check in on them for me. All right, the O'Malley mission uh, has another... It's another mini story, but this one's got a bit of an unfair gimmick. Um, so the marshal told us that the wagon is somewhere in the Badlands, but we don't have a waypoint. So we just need to sort of like stumble on it. So you just gotta kind of hunt for them. Yeah, you just gotta go over to the Badlands and hope that you, uh, that you find, uh, that you find the wagons. And it basically, it, it's over where, um, over where we were protecting the cattle. Uh, from the wolves in one of that er one of those earlier uh, ranching missions. All right, I remember that. Yeah, we're we're finally gonna get use of our our dual wielding pacemakers. Peacemakers, excuse me. Um, I don't know why he said pacemakers there. It, it, we're we will. The, it, the, sorry to spoil it, but the uh, uh, the the next uh, the next weapons that we're gonna have are are actually it's it's actually heart medication. <laughs> Just dual wielding it. We give the enemies heart attacks. Now, unfortunately, the, the, uh, there's there's one thing I need to tell you that uh, unfortunately um, I, uh, I I forgot to include it in this video, but I had actually activated the next hunting mission off screen. Um, I, I'll be including it later, but it's important to to talk about that now because the the area where we're supposed to hunt uh, the the animal is the great white buffalo. And that takes place in the same area. The, that takes place in the same area that this that this mission does. You sure 
saved our bacon, stranger. So there's one major, the, the one major downside of the mission of this order, in between unloading the settler's mission and loading the buffalo, the buffalo got spooked by the horse. <laughs> that was, that's, that's a great design there, Neversoft. Great job. Whoops. And I unloaded my frustration on these bandits here. Anyway, I, uh, I went out of the map and respawned the Great White Buffalo. The next video will include the, uh, the, the pre, the, the, the pre-mission preamble for the Great White Buffalo, because I, I accidentally forgot to include it here. So, uh, the Great White Buffalo works pretty similarly to Grey Wolf. You just need to get close. Have to sneak into range and everything. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta sneak within range. Almost all of the hunting missions work like this. There is one. The very last hunting mission works differently. That one is actually pretty fun. And I think you'll like it. That's in the... It's gonna be in one of the very last videos. But, oh no! The There's table, a bandit right? attack! And it spooked the it spooked the buffalo because I got attacked by bandits! This game just does not let up, ever, with these hunting missions. This game knows nothing of comedic timing. It knows everything of comedic timing. <laughs> Alright, so, let's try it again. Approach very slowly. We, we got the bite buffalo. Yay. <laughs> Alright, that's that's enough, Cole. Victory! You've, you, you've done your job. You, you don't need to... You, you don't need to, like, spell something out in the buffalo's blood or anything. Come on. And I decided to do a little more celebratory hunting in the most American way possible with explosives. Dynamite is surprisingly ineffective when it comes to hunting. You'd think it would do a better job. You'd think that buffalo would be in pieces, not groaning in a confused <laughs> manner. I, I guess they they didn't have the resources to render giblets for uh, uh, for buffalo. They barely have the resources to render everything else. Yeah. Giblets was asking a lot. All right, so that. That was uh, the first part of what was originally going to be video 8. Uh, video 9 is even crazier.